Hey guys, welcome back. I am so excited for today's video because it's going to be the top three makeup products in each makeup category. This video has been around for a while and I've done it several times, but I wanted to do an updated version because I like to do this video based on what I currently own in my collection. So I've got all the categories of makeup here. I have a lot to talk about. If you are new, please subscribe. I upload quite a few videos a week and I just love makeup. It is a whole lot of fun. Let us know your top products in the comments down below and let's get started. So much makeup in front of me. I don't even know where to start, but I decided to go with primers. So these I would say are my top three primers in my collection, but I've tried a lot of good primers. But first off, I have normal skin and I like pore filling and I do like a little bit of hydration, but I like that kind of smoothing primer. So the Smashbox Primerizer is one that is smoothing and hydrating. It's fantastic. I really, really love it. This one has hyaluronic acid. It's fantastic. And then I still love the original photo finish from Smashbox. Perfect, just smoothing primer. And I love smoothing primers because A, they keep my makeup on longer and also they help fill in my forehead lines and my smile lines. So awesome. And then this one, the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer. This is also a pore primer and wow, is this one good. It feels like a silicone primer, but it says it's silicone free. So I don't know how they do it, but it's really, really good. All right, let's talk concealer. A newer one actually made it to this top category and that is the Colfi concealer. I recently bought this just in the last like month and a half and it's a really nice creamy concealer. I like concealer that's probably medium coverage, creamy. I mean, I set my under eyes and my face with powder anyway. Today, I was in a major hurry. I'm only wearing a little bit of concealer, no foundation, and I just set it with a bit of powder. And this is the one I'm wearing. I have the shade Ice Ice Berry, very lovely. I do also love the Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy. This one is more coverage than the Colfi, but it's still creamy, like the name says. And it's really, really nice. I like it quite a bit. And then my other one is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Great stuff right here. This one also, I would say this one has as much coverage as the Tarte and the Colfi has the least coverage out of those, but they're awesome. Okay, foundation. I have a lot of good foundations right now in my collection, but these three are amazing and they're all drugstore, which is awesome. There's a lot of e.l.f. products in here. I really love e.l.f. This is the Flawless Satin Finish Foundation. I have repurchased this so many times. Great on my normal skin, lasts all day. It's amazing. And satin finish, that's what I like for foundation. I like medium coverage satin finish. I don't need super coverage, but I don't want very light coverage. I could have easily talked about a million foundations that I love though, or at least like, you know, 10. Um, the Revolution Conceal and Define. Wow, good stuff right here. Great coverage here too and lasts really nice throughout the day. It doesn't get cakey. It's really good. And then the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. So I don't know if they reformulated this or what because I bought this at the beginning of the year and I've owned this several times in the past, but I'm talking like I had this like six years ago. And I don't know, at that time I thought it was only okay. I thought it looked a bit flat on the face but now I love it. So I don't know if it's like my skin has changed or if they changed the formula. I have no idea. I guess I don't care, but it's really, really good. So this says that it is a matte foundation. And like I said, I used to think it was too matte, but now it's not. So I don't know what to tell you, but I love this stuff. I'm trying to fly through stuff here because I have so much to talk about and I need to leave. So I have to hurry up. Okay. Powder. I have normal skin, but I have to set my under eyes and my T-zone. And I'm very picky about under eye powder, but I have found these three that work on my under eyes and the rest of my face. First up, another e.l.f. product, um, the Halo Glow Setting Powder. I have shade light. This is a loose powder. Great. Not too matte, not that like cakey feeling. Keeps my concealer from creasing. Awesome. The one I'm wearing today, like I said, all I'm wearing is a little concealer and powder and then some bronzer. That's it. The Wet n Wild Bare Focus Powder in shade light. I don't usually like like these white translucent powders because I do feel like they leave kind of like a white cast. So I like to get 
the ones that have like a bit of shade to them. So this one you can see has like a yellow undertone and this one slightly does have pigment to it as well. And as does this one. So the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. I've been raving about this all year. It's in my project pan and I'm almost done with it, but I love it. It's such a good powder. Amazing. Doesn't leave that like dry cakey feeling. It's so good. And I have the shade Oat Translucent, but it, again, it's not like a white translucent. It has like a slight yellow undertone. And so... I'm pretty sure are all of those powders, I'm pretty sure all of those powders, they are sold in like multiple shades. And I'm pretty sure they do have also one of those white translucent ones that you could get. Just not my preference, but those formulas are lovely. I decided to skip over mascara because I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of good mascaras out there. I'm a little picky when it comes to mascara. The mascara I'm using right now, I think is only okay actually and it's the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High. So that's what I have, that's what I'm using. I don't know, it's not doing a whole lot for my lashes to be honest, but whatever. Moving on, brow products. All right, so this was a recent repurchase. I used to use this all the time. It's again, e.l.f. <laughs> the Instant Lift Brow Pencil. For a long time I didn't use brow pencils, but I wanted to repurchase this. I was like, you know what? I used to love that brow pencil and it's really, really nice. And I have the shade neutral brown. So I do have a tiny bit of this in my brows. But for me, the brow essential is tinted brow mascara. And a lot of days I don't do any brow pencil or brow powder. I just do a tinted brow mascara. And these two are fantastic. NYX Thicket Stick It Brow Mascara. That is so difficult to say. I'm wearing this one today. I have shade Espresso. I've repurchased this multiple times. Actually, I've repurchased all these products multiple times um, in the brow category. Um, and some of the other categories too. This one, Essence Make Me Brow. Awesome. Awesome stuff right here. Um, I've repurchased this one quite a few times too. Brownie brows. Just like how I don't like, like those clear powders, I don't like clear brow mascara because I feel like it's like goopy and then you can kind of see it. I don't know. No, thank you. For me, has to be tinted brow mascara. All right, let's get into some more of like the Color Cosmetics face stuff. Um, first up, highlighter. And my top three highlighters, two of the three are cream highlighters. For blush and bronzer, I separated it out into cream and powder products. But the only powder highlighter I'm talking about is Becca Champagne Pop. I still love this. It's a beautiful, I still love highlighter, although today I'm not, well, I'm wearing one of the cream ones, but I'm not wearing powder highlighter. Champagne Pop. We've heard about it, we've seen it, I still love it. Um, this is what I'm wearing under my concealer today. It is the Say Liquid Highlighter. I have shade Star Glow. This stuff is lovely. Today I just put it on like totally underneath my concealer. You can also mix it in with foundation. I love doing that too. This is a newer product. I got it in June, but it's really standing out to me. I love it. And then I would say this is probably my number one. Again, e.l.f. The Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Duping the Charlotte Tilbury, which I've had, which I loved. But this is just as good, if not better, and way cheaper. Powder blushes. Milani Luminoso. So I repurchased this at the beginning of the year. And I love it just as much as I did however many years ago I had this. They did change it a little bit. You guys told me that, that this isn't the exact same shade that it used to be like 10 years ago, and it's not. Um, it's a bit more orangey, but I love a warm tone blush. So awesome. I love blush, and I'm not wearing blush today because I didn't have time. Charlotte Tilbury and Pillow Talk. Yes, the perfect like neutral mauve blush for me. This formula is lovely has like a hint of glow. It's just, it's so good. And then last up, NARS and Luster. This is a beautiful peachy neutral blush and this formula is really good. So yes, those are awesome. But like I said, I have a whole separate category here for cream blush. And these three, I would say, gosh, I have so many good cream blushes, guys. Like this was hard and I love cream blush. But these, like, formula-wise, I would say are my top three. Um, LYS, I have the shade Self Love. These, so pretty, so easy to blend. Love the formula. Also, I love this triangle packaging, so cute. 
Also, the Rare Beauty blushes. I have another shade of this one. Um, this one is Encourage, and I also have the shade Joy. These are very pigmented, but they still blend out easily. I remember the days of liquid blush where you'd put some on, and then it would like dry immediately, and you have like a spot. No, not with this. And then last up, this formula, the ColourPop Cheek Dew Serum Blushes. These are really, really good. This is the shade Fairy Kingdom. I have several other shades. Here I'm talking more about the formulas, but so good. I love cream blush. It's definitely a favorite. Okay, bronzer. Powder bronzer is up first. And e.l.f. I love this powder bronzer. This is the shade Forever Sunkissed. Blends out easily. Doesn't get splotchy. It just looks good. And then we have Fenty Beauty. And I also love the cream bronzer from Fenty Beauty. Um, somehow that didn't make it into this top three. I don't know. Whatever. I've got a lot of favorites. I have to keep moving. The powder bronzer in Private Island. Ooh, so pretty. And this undertone, I feel like, looks really nice on my skin tone. And then I still love this one. The Marc Jacobs in Tantastic. Maybe it's partly nostalgia. I don't know. But... It looks good. I like it. What can I say? So cream bronzer. Ugh, this was hard too. The cream products were harder than the powder products, to be honest. So the Fenty Beauty one is also amazing. I don't know. These, I'm going with these though. Revolution. I have talked about this one so much this year. This is, I mean, this is pretty much a dupe for the Fenty Beauty one because it's like in the same type of packaging, but it's cheaper. And blends so well. I love it. And then the other two are stick bronzers. So the Merit one, really, really like this one. This one is a bit more sheer. It has like a bit of glow to it. I don't know. It's like hydrating. It's really nice. And then LYS, also amazing. I have the shade this one in Courage. And this one's great. This one I got a deeper shade, so I have to use less of it but again, blends out easily. So those are amazing. Okay. What am I talking about next? Um, you know what? Let's go into lip products, lip liner. Now I don't like to put something in like in a favorites video that I haven't had for that long. I've only had this Natasha Denona lip liner for like three weeks, but I have worn it so much and I'm so impressed with it. So creamy, so beautiful. I've never tried them before, but this is the I Need a Nude Lip Pencil in the shade Dana, which is a brown. It kind of reminds me of Pat McGrath Contour, and that one would be in this video, except I panned mine. It is all gone. I have used it up. So my other two favorites, I love the ColourPop formula. Their lip liners are so good. These shades are two of my favorites, but I mean, I have more here that I really, really love. I'm wearing the shade in Beeper today, which is just a nice neutral shade. And this one that I have is the shade Love Bug. These are just good. So, I mean, formula wise, like I can attest I have a bunch of these and I love them. This is the only one I've ever tried from Natasha Denona, but it's amazing. I do have another one from Pat McGrath, but the shade I'm not as into. But if I still owned Contour, that would have been in the top three. So, you know. Um, okay, let's see. I actually love liquid lipstick, but all my top three lipstick favorites that I picked were bullet lipsticks. And the one I'm wearing is Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. I know, so basic, but you know what? I didn't try this until um, last December because I got it for Christmas. I'm definitely late to the party, but it's good. I'm going to say this is worth the hype. I'm wearing this one today really nice formula. Um, I have one that's from their matte revolution formula. I like that formula more than the K-I-S-S-I-N-G formula. I have one of those. I don't like it as much. Okay. The rare beauty, this lipstick formula is so nice. It's so comfortable. It's so pretty. I have the shade worthy, you know, nice neutral shade. Very, very nice. I would love to get more colors because it's really great. And then last up, the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. I have quite a few of these. So again, I feel like, well, okay, the Charlotte Tilbury, I'm talking specifically like that color because I don't know that I would get other Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. The Rare Beauty, I would love to get more. 
These, I have a bunch of these and I love them. Um, the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. This is the shade Cookie and I've had several of these before. I've actually panned one of the Cookie um, a long time ago and it's a favorite. All right, lip gloss. This was hard. I love lip gloss. So kind of have a lot that I wanted to include here, but I decided to go with these as like a formula that I like. So first up, the one I'm wearing is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. However, I have to tell you, so this is the shade Stone. This is what I'm wearing. Um, I used to have one that had some of the shimmers in it. And after a while, I feel like the shimmer would kind of build up on the lips. And I didn't love that. So actually, one of you guys told me that the cream ones are way better. And I have to agree. So I would buy more of these in the cream version. The ones with shimmer, I would not purchase more. But this one's amazing. Awesome. Creamy. Love it. Okay. The Pat McGrath glosses, you guys, I have panned so many of these. This is the longest wearing lip gloss with the most shine that my lips have ever seen. Okay. And it's not sticky. It's comfortable, but longest lasting, most beautiful shine. It just really is. Um, this is the shade in Alienjelic, but like I said, I have owned so many of these and I have panned full sizes and minis. They're awesome. And then I still love the NYX Butter Glosses. Um, this is the shade Eclair, but I have like three or four others. Again, pigmented, smooth, not sticky. Amazing. Okay. Uh, I decided to include single eye shadows in this. And then the last category is me eyeshadow palettes, which is like impossible. But anyway, you know what? I am getting into the ColourPop Super Shock shadows, um, which is something I was in years ago, and then I kind of like forgot about them, but this one is so pretty. This is the shade Frog. Nice sparkle. This one layers really well with other shades and also um, looks really good on the inner corner. And these, again, I mean, I'm talking more of the formula because I have other shades. I don't even know that these are like necessarily my favorite shades. Um, this is Corsage, which is a beautiful minty shade. So nice. And then my third single shadow, I am actually including the MAC Painterly Paint Pot because today this is all I'm wearing. And when I'm in a hurry, I will wear just this on its own. If I didn't wear anything, my mascara would transfer because I have partially hooded eyelids. So there's a hair. What's happening? <laughs> um, MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Love it. Okay, last up is eyeshadow palettes. So I was like, how do I have 140 eyeshadow palettes? How am I gonna pick three? I don't even know. So these definitely are top three, but again, I'm also kind of talking more the formulas, um, but I love my Sigma palettes. I love their color stories. I love the formula. They're easy to use. This is the warm neutrals. It's amazing. I also love the ambiance and the Sigma Untamed and the new mod. They're just really, really good. Um, Sydney Grace, the Be Mine palette. Oh, I love this so much. And I love the other Sydney Grace palettes that I have. I have three others. And I mean, they're color stories, but their formula is so pigmented. The metallics are so metallic. The mattes blend so easily. I, I just think that this might be my favorite formula of all time. Natasha Denona, but you guys know I love my Natasha Denona palettes. This is the bronze palette. It's definitely one of my favorites. I love all my Natasha Denona palettes. I might like the Sydney Grace formula slightly more than Natasha Denona. Um, yeah, but I love my Natasha Denona palettes so much. I own a lot of them. The bronze is definitely one of my favorites. Again, super metallic and the mattes are easy to blend, which is what I like. So, woo, okay, made it through this video. Let us know your top favorites. If you are new, like I said, please subscribe for more. And thank you so much for watching this video.